Okay, the raids were just not conducted in Chennai. We're getting to hear that raids uh, have even taken place at Karthi Chidambaram's office in Gurugram. In fact, the raids are going on at the JMD Megapolis building. Uh, so this is the latest bit of information that we have received. Just take a look at the extent of the CBI raids. Uh, they're happening in multiple locations in the state of Tamil Nadu and also in the Delhi NCR region of Gurugram. Let's just go straight across to Shivendra for more on this. Shivendra, just tell us a little bit more about these raids being conducted at Karthi Chitambaram's office in Gurugram. Yeah, the Kardo, uh, Chitambaram and um, his son is denying all the allegations related to any irregularities in this matter. But raids are still going on and the courts are saying other way around. Now raids are um, uh, also going in Gurugram, in Mumbai, in Chennai. Right now in Gurugram, there is a um, building called JND Megapolis where uh, Chidambaram's office, uh, uh, chess management services is situated and um, the way crews are raiding this place and they have recovered several documents related to irregularities. As per the courts, when uh, Peter Mukherjee was uh, head of INX Media in 2008, uh, this is alleged that money was paid and shares were alerted to Karthi's company, uh, which is uh, which is Advantage Strategic Consulting and other firms related to this company also. Uh, uh, as per as per uh, as per inquiry, Peter Mukherjee's INEX also paid cash in uh, several occasions, uh, 60 lakhs one time and 35 lakhs other time, and uh, this was routed through London-based company, uh, which is which is named um, Artevia Digital UK Limited. Uh, this money was routed this uh, through this company to Carthy's company. These are allegations, and as per records, this is found uh, during the raids because IT had also uh, raided Carthy's premise earlier too. And during that time, uh, because of uh, this, this kind of uh, irregularities and share transfer were found after this, CBI is conducting raids today at uh, several uh, premises and they have recovered lots of documents related to Karthi's company and association with other alleged companies. All right, Shivendra, thanks so much for joining us and getting us up to speed with the latest information about the raids being conducted in Gurugram. So just take a look at the number of raids. It's just not limited to Chennai. In fact, these raids are being conducted by the CBI across Mumbai, Delhi and Chennai as well. Now, according to the very latest information, the raids are all taking place in connection uh, with the alleged favours that was granted to Karthi Jadambaram's company for allegedly giving foreign investment approval to INX Media. INX Media is a media company that was owned by Peter Mukherjee. The clearances were allegedly granted by P. Chidambaram, who was then the finance minister in the UPA government. According to sources, Karthi Chidambaram and his companies received cash payments or kickbacks uh, and a few shares in the company for facilitating the entire process and for getting the approvals. CBI registered a case regarding alleged irregularities in granting the Foreign Investment Promotion Board clearance given to INX Media that was run by its directors Indrani Mukherjee and Peter Mukherjee in 2007 when P. Chidambaram was the Finance Minister. Let's just break this down for you. According to reports, INX Media in September 2008 had allegedly paid 35 lakh rupees and even allotted 60 lakh shares to Karthi Chidambaram's company. In fact, in 2007, the income tax department had seized hard disks from Karthi Chidambaram's companies and these hard disks have reportedly given enough evidence to the investigating agency that links Karthi Chidambaram's companies to the media company, that's INX Media. P. Chidambaram has issued a statement calling the raids nothing but political vendetta by the central government in an attempt to silence him. Meanwhile, speaking to India today, Karthi Chidambaram has also said that the raids are nothing but a political witch hunt against him and his family. So were you given any were you given any notification before these raids? Were you told before I heard that you know anything's gonna I am being targeted systematically politically. This is part of political. 
Well, we've been getting you all the political reactions right here on India Today. In fact, uh, India Today's Priyamita also got a chance to speak to Nalini Chidambaram on the recent raids, and this is what she had to say. Nalini yes. Chidambaram? Hi, ma'am. I'm Priyamvada yeah. from India Today, Tamil Nadu head of India Today. See, my husband has already issued a statement. I don't want to say anything more than that. Sorry. Okay, so that's the big reaction coming in there from Nalini Chidambaram. Uh, she was obviously responding to the question put forth by a uh, correspondent on the recent rates, but she said she has nothing to add. She was referring to the statement that was issued by her husband and the former finance minister, P. Chidambaram, who had said about the FIBB approval that uh, is usually granted in hundreds of cases and maintaining that there is no allegation against him. India Today has also reached Karthi Chidambaram's office in Chennai where the CBI has been conducting raids since 6.30 a.m. Let's take a look at this exclusive report. I'm standing on the third floor of El Dorado building. This is where Karthi Chidambaram's office is right now. And as you could see, this is a name board of this place called Chase Global Advisory Services. And in this location behind me is the door where there is close to 11 people inside the building right now. And they have started this investigation that we started around 6.30 in the morning. They are going through files and various documents and everything like that. Depending on the data they retrieve from here, they want to go ahead with other locations as well. For now, there is eight locations that is being uh, I, this uh, particular raid is being conducted of which four is in Chennai one is uh, at Nungambakam Chidambaram's house the other one is office of Karthik Chidambaram and there's two more locations one presumably at uh, uh, Alba Pet and another at a friend's residence that is also allegedly being said by the sources over here the investigation is going on and we, we go, could have uh, we have got to know that this will go for the whole day here Pramod Madhav for India today